And I think that anybody who plays a villain would say what I'm going to say. We're not bad people. We just have another agenda. <laughs> <laughs> Badgie, he... Badgie's here! I'm always here. Becomes a villain, but he didn't intend on being a villain. Badgie is Rutherford's son. That son decides to overthrow his father and trying to kill everybody. But that's what a son does. <laughs> I hope my son does that to me. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna leave. I like that Badgie gets pretty creative on his threats uh, and very specific with what he's gonna do to people. I'm going to burn! Your heart's in a fire! I like his inventiveness and his cruelty. <laughs> Enjoy having all your guts flying out or whatever. Peanut Hamper is written as literally a floating paradox. So she's like, oh, she's like a villain who doesn't do villainous things anymore. But she's always a villain. Yeah! What I love about Peanut Hamper is her ability to get herself out of situations based on her charisma. I don't know how I would have gotten through this without you. Oh, the feeling is mutual. And Agamus, all he needs is just to plug him in and he takes over, well, everything. He prides himself in being a master manipulator. Of course, everybody kind of sees right through it. <laughs> In season four, we see a whole other aspect to Agamus. It's a little sweet and it's kind of sad, too. It was just an excuse to spend more time with you. He shouldn't be put in prison. Uh, the person who created him should. Maybe it's just the algorithm, y'all. Maybe it's just the algorithm. Ooh, have fun with the sinister robots who definitely aren't trying to trap you guys. Thanks! 